Hey Dad Rockers, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since, it feels like forever, that I've done one of these in-person things. I kind of feel like uh, Aussie Man Reviews would be like, Good day! Uh, hey, you beautiful bloody bastards, here's me face! <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. I watch a lot of Aussie Man. If I'm having a bad day, I put Aussie Man on and it just makes things a little happier, which is cool. If I can't be by my guitars, obviously. Um, I wanted to make a quick video to say hello to all you fellas. Thank you for sticking with me through this uh, playing it safe mode I'm in because of obviously my copyright strikes um the the donations are pouring in for requests i'm super thankful to everybody that's uh donated for a request uh white lion and vito brada has just taken over the channel in a big way um there's not a whole lot of white lion so we'll work our way through the best and i'm not certain if i can upload vito's uh, the stuff he did as a solo projects. We're going to take a look at that in the future. Um, I, I, I want to thank you all again for your donations. I was able to pick up this Headrush FR FR 108, um, which is really cool. This is a little bit of a makeshift studio. I kind of hung up beam and painted it black. I also picked up with your donations this newer USB microphone which goes right into my camera there um, it does sound pretty good I don't know how close I have to be to it this is my first time actually recording a video with it um, over here I've got the Les Paul an acoustic would had a lot of dust on it because I really don't play a lot of acoustic guitar I've got the uh, PRS deal going back here this lives in D standard for playing crew and I just love the deep 80s tone you can get out of a, a guitar with D standard high output that's got the fat cat p90 in the bridge this has burst buckers uh, I left those alone because I didn't realize P90, love it, but it makes a lot of uh, 60 cycle hum on a live setup, which you don't get when you're playing through headphones. So I have to adjust all my effects to uh, kind of take some of the noise out. So I've been playing a lot with the humbucker because I don't get that. Um, also, uh, I picked up the head rush, picked up the microphone. I'm going to uh, kind of adjust the camera angle so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so over here on the floor, I've always had um, a GE 150. I like this compact size. The sound is really good through headphones, but when I run it through the headrush system, it sounds cheap. <laughs> That's the word I want to use. Not, nothing against the more products they're great but when you want to play through a loud live setup it just doesn't have what it takes now for the last eight years i've owned the amplify uh 150 which is a line six product i love it it's bluetooth i can pipe my backing tracks through this with my phone um, i can set up basically any sound you want there's a huge cloud setting um, it's I just I just love this unit I know it's eight years old um, I found it online for 200 Canadian which it works out to about eight point seven five dollars US with the exchange um, <clears throat> but I just love the fact that all of the tones I've been working on for the last eight years I can take from 
my setup upstairs and just set them right up into this and play through my live settings. It, it is a little tricky. Some things have to get changed because obviously what you hear through headphones is always going to be different than what you hear through a live rig. I'm hoping at some point I'm going to be able to do maybe some live streaming, maybe help generate some revenue for the channel. Um, I'd love to start getting some guitars that I can review, give away. That would be great. Probably never happen, but we're, we're going to, you never know. Enough. I, I, it feels like yesterday I was saying, wow, well, hoo hoo, I've, I've passed a thousand subscribers and all of a sudden five came and then 10 came and now we're almost at 12 and a half thousand subscribers. It's growing at a rate, which I can't believe. Um, I'm really enjoying the, the uh, interaction with all of you guys in the comment section and talking about what you like to play, what kind of instruments you have, concerts you've been to in the past. Um, there's a, a few guys that have had some extensive concert stuff that they talk about that just blows my mind. Um, I'm up here in the north and don't get a lot of stuff come through here. Not very rare. And now that COVID's happened, I don't think I've been to a concert in probably two years. I'm super happy that I can sit here and just make my own damn concert. Now that I'm all set up down here to start playing loud and live again, I'm super excited to maybe be able to share some of that with you. I'm, I'm not going to stop doing tab videos. They're, they're perfect, but I do have to add some of this content in here so that, you know, I can post stuff that is not copyright claimed. That I apologize to all of you fellers that uh, are asking still for requests based off my old videos. But when you have over 12,000 people shooting out, do this one and do that one and do this one, um, there's no way to keep up. It was cool at, at first after I said, okay, you need to make some sort of affordable donation. Doesn't have to be a lot of money. Um, all it's doing is filtering out the, you know, I don't know. How do you, how do you put that really? I, when I said you needed to make a donation to get a request, at first, aside from a couple of great fellows, you know who you are, uh, crickets. Okay, that's good. Let's do some Molten Crew and get back to doing some stuff I know people want to hear and learn. Um, but yeah, now it, it's, it's just kind of over the last week, just kind of exploded and Vito came in and he's just doing his melodic runs and pentatonic scales and a lot of those solos in those those white lion songs would be fantastic pentatonic exercises slow that shit down play it at slower speed increase it increase it increase it a little bit until you can get up to you know uh, relatively close to what he's playing it's fast it's melodic it's fantastic white line music it's pretty you know 80s cheesy but there's no denying the fact that Beto is, you know, right up there with George Lynch, you know, <clears throat> a lot of the, the 80s guitar players that are fantastic. Um, I leave this in D standard because, you know, Mick's a fantastic rhythm player, not the greatest lead player. That's about where my level is at. My fingers are old and fat. And so I can rip through some deadly Molly crew rhythm um but yeah I, I just again i want to thank everybody for your support um the dad rock merch is all available uh in the description there's a teespring store there's bonfire store there's different shirts uh no background there's les pauls and sgs there's fenders and telecasters and now i've got a kramer and a dean guitar one for the 80s stuff um hats hip bags, stickers, water bottles, you name it. I don't sell, I've sold like four shirts, whatever, I don't care. Um, it's a lot of fun. This has been a great experience. I hope to keep doing this, doing a few different things, setting up my live setup, doing some more recording. I've got a lot of tracks that I've done for writing riffs and whatever, you know, soloing I can do. 
I thank you all again for your support, sticking with me through the Play It Safe days, which are gonna end very soon. Um, I just wanna say, when you put in a request donation, uh, make sure you leave the name of the song, or even if you wanna just say, I wanna hear more White Lion, which uh, Saul did, and I've tried to add some stuff in that wasn't getting um, requested by some other folks. Um, but make sure that your your PayPal account that you're sending me you're available you're able to access the email because if for some reason YouTube says nope you can't download this song I can't fill your request then I will need to contact you to make arrangements to pick a song that is going to be acceptable for YouTube to let me post and also for the the availability of tabs like. There's some bands from the 80s I've never heard of, You Fellers Love, and I go to find the tabs and nobody's ever bothered to tab that stuff. So that makes it really hard to, you know, make videos. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you be. I've got some more White Line coming up uh, at 7 o'clock tonight. Um, thank you again. You you have no idea how much i appreciate this support um stay tuned lots of great videos to come um feel free to comment below uh, your experiences if you want to post a video on youtube of a song you learned from a dad rock video i will feature it in front of a, a redone set of tabs whatever we'll figure something out that you don't have to worry about a donation i appreciate everything you guys are doing i hope you're all enjoying the videos have a great weekend